at Coffeeville Community College for game two of our Saturday afternoon doubleheader between the Red Ravens and the KCK Blue Devils. I'm Shane Neal, so happy you're with us here on the Red Ravens Sports Network. We're getting ready for first pitch, and uh, let's get it started. Walking into the batter's box for the Blue Devils. Leading off is Peyton Basler, number two, and he will go up against the Red Ravens' right -hand, or left-handed pitcher, Noah Stroer. First pitch from Stroer outside, ball one. Game one went the way of the Blue Devils, 10-0 in five innings. We are slated for a nine-game, or nine-inning uh, game two here this afternoon. That one fouled back. See a lot of fastball changeup from Stroer here today. 1-1 one, one pitch, and that one outside, 2-1. and one. Almost looked like a cutter there, trying to backdoor it. Two balls, one strike from Stroer. And that one on the inside corner, good pitch, 2-2 two and two on Peyton Basler. Two and two as Stroer looks to get the Ravens off to a good start here in game two. And that one inside actually hit the leadoff hitter. And the leadoff man is on here for KCK on a hit by pitch. So that'll bring up Gary Goldbeck, who's batting in the two hole here in this second game of the doubleheader. Goldbeck had a strong game one. Ended up on base all four times. Three for, or one for two, I should say, with a pair of walks. First pitch lines it to right outside of the diving lunge there, and that's a base hit. Two on, nobody out here for KCK. One of the best hitting teams in the in the conference. Came into this weekend with an on-base percentage as a team of 507. And uh, they have continued that into this afternoon. So two on, nobody out. And Jackson Mervosh shows bunt, pulls back, strike one. Ravens were very careful pitching to Mervosh in game one. Did not give him a lot of pitches to work with. 0-1 pitch here. He shows bunt again and fouls it off. 0-2, oh and, and now we'll see if uh, the Blue Devils let their three-hole hitter try to bunt with two strikes. Can't imagine they do. Great crowd here today at Walter Johnson Park. Like we mentioned in game one, a little bit of opening day vibes around it. 0-2 oh pitch. That one tails outside. Ball one. Looks like that changeup got away from Stroer there a little bit. One ball, two strikes. And there again, looked like a, that, that cutter or what, that backdoor slider or whatever he's trying to do. It's the second time he's tried to do it. It stays outside two and two. Runner on second is Bassler. Runner on first is Goldbeck. Two, two here, that's hit right at second base. They'll get one on to first, and the pick is made. George Andrews with a nice pick, 4-6-3 double play. Off the bat of Jackson Mervash, and the runner moves up to third, but now two down, and the Ravens have a chance to escape with a scoreless first. So this will be Jace Woida, who had a fantastic game one, grand slam, couple walks. But he takes a strike. Runner on third. Two outs after the double play off the bat of Mervash. 0-1 here from Stroer. And got the outside corner. Heck of a pitch there. No balls, two strikes. Tries to sit down the heart of this KCK order. 0-2. Oh and, and that one off the outside corner.
On deck is Patterson. The one, two, and that one blocked nicely. Two and two here from Noah Strower. And that one just a bit upstairs. Full count now on Jace Woida. Two outs, runner on third. Woida went three for re reach base in all but one of his at-bats in game one. There, he just barely got a piece of that one. Count remains full, looks like. Stroh went to the change up there. Full count pitch again from Stroher, the sophomore out of Shawnee Mission. A transfer from Allen County and just off the outside edge. Raven dugout thought it was strike three. They don't get the call. So first walk of the day issued and we've had Hit by pitch, a single and a walk, sandwiched by a 4-6-3 double play. Brady Patterson steps into the box. Patterson did not have as good of a game one as some of his teammates. He ended up going 0 for 2, two strikeouts, two walks. Time was called there. So one and zero here on Patterson. Strower gets a sign working from the stretch. Throw over to first. Now they're coming home, and that's going to be a run. Advancing to third is Woida. Scoring is Bassler. KCK gets aggressive on the base paths and take a one nothing lead here in the first. So it's 2-0 oh on Patterson. Now Woida is the runner at third. It is 1-0 Blue Devils. And ball three down low. Ravens try to limit the damage. 1-0 KCK here early in game two. And a four-pitch walk to Brady Patterson. Back-to-back -back walks issued by Noah Stroer. So that brings up number 17, excuse me, number 27, Marcus Dirks. Runners on the corners, two outs. In game one of our doubleheader, Dirks had a two hits, a double and a single. Also had a walk. Two for three day. Now a conversation with our umpire and crew. And they're going to pull him back to first base. Only three balls to Patterson. Now an explanation here for... A little bit of confusion here in the first inning of game two. Game one, KCK improved to 17 and three on the season. They are now a perfect six and zero oh in true road games. Patterson moves back into the box.
And there's a strike from Strower. Dirk still on deck now after that. 3-1, fouled off. So we'll see if the Allen County transfer can make a big pitch here. Full count, two outs, runner on third. Strower's pitch, grounded, down the line, fair ball. Patterson delivers the knock, his first hit of the day. It's an RBI single, and it's 2-0 Blue Devils. Dirks moves into the box. And a strike on the outside corner. Again, Marcus Dirks, two for three in game one. Double, single, draw, walk. The 0 1 pitch. Foul off. Quickly 0 and 2. Standing on deck is number 26, Freddy Santiago. And a swing and a miss. Dirk's gone on strikes. Stroer gets out of the inning. Two runs for KCK. They're off to a good start. Ravens coming to bat. 2 0 here on the Red Ravens Sports Network. Bottom of the first inning, and Carson Strack leads it off for the Ravens. He will face the right-handed pitcher, Donovan Johnson, who gets the start today for KCK in game two of our doubleheader. K uh, Johnson on the season, five games, only one start, a 3.95 ERA in 13 and two-thirds innings with 13 strikeouts. So Johnson's had success so far this season, and he works against Strack, start for strike one. Going to be tough to top Aaron Lewis in game one of our doubleheader. Lewis, five games, complete game shutout, not, or five innings, complete game shutout, nine strikeouts. 0-1 to Schrack, breaking ball, caught the corner. 0-2. Go backdoor slider there from Donovan Johnson. 
And quickly ahead, 0-2 on track. That one tails outside, 1-2. and two. Quiet day, or quiet game one for Carson. He ended up having a single, but only got two at-bats. That one grounded to short. shrak has got good speed. will make the shortstop get rid of it quickly, but the play is made. One down here in the first. Jaden Hill will walk up. Hill roped a double in game one. See if that at-back gives him any sort of momentum here for game number two. First pitch, ground ball, second base. Feet are set, throw is made, and two down. Pair of ground balls from Johnson. Now we'll see number eight for the Ravens, and that is Nathan Cruz. Johnson has an effective sinker. He gets a lot of ground balls with that pitch. He's already gotten two here in this opening inning. Strike one on Cruz. 0-1 pitch. Fouled off. Quickly 0-2. And, and Andrews has only thrown seven pitches, or Johnson's, excuse me, only thrown seven pitches so far. Looking to have a very efficient and effective first inning. 0-2 pitch to, hold, uh, to Cruz. And a ground ball. Third baseman has it, plants the feet. Infield practice in the first inning for the Blue Devils. Ground out to short, ground out to second, ground out to third. Ravens go in order. It's 2-0 Blue Devils after one. Santiago leads it off here in the second for Casey K against Noah Stroer. 2-0, Blue Devils our score here, top two. Ball one outside from the Raven left-hander. Santiago will be followed by Tanner Pachorik. And 2-0. Two balls, no strikes. The pitch, inside corner, strike one. That one up and away. Three balls, one strike. Strower issued two walks in that first inning. Did have a strikeout and a 4-6-3 double play. And that one up high, ball four. Leadoff walk to Santiago. And I'll bring up Pachoric, who in game one of our doubleheader, Pachoric had two hits, 
two for four, also struck out, flat out to center field. First pitch, runner on first, nobody out. There's a strike. Oh, one pitch. Pachorek shows bunt. Bunts it foul. I'll make it 0-2. Runner on first is Santiago. The 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Catcher holds on to it. It's a strikeout on a changeup. Second of the day for... Strower and one down here in the second. First pitch outside here to Brady Kern. One zero. -oh. Inside corner, strike one. One ball, one strike here to the nine hole hitter Kern. That one low, two and one. KCK comes into this second game of the doubleheader, 17 and three on the season. Ravens, nine and 12. Two one pitch, fouled off. It'll be to the top of the order next. With back to the top of, back to the number two. Excuse me, Peyton Bassler. Passer was hit by a pitch, scored in the first inning. But here's the 2-2 pitch to Kern. Strower gets his sign, kicks, and fires. Outside, full count. Full count pitch and missed the inside corner. So Kern draws a walk. It's the fourth walk drawn by the Blue Devils the first time through the order. And two on with one out. Ball one here to Bassler. That one lined to right, and the catch is made. Second out of the inning. Bassler is retired, and that brings up Goldbeck, who's singled in his first at bat. That's an on the outside corner. Oh, and one here on Goldbeck. I one low and away. One one to gold back. Swing and a miss. And a chance for Strower to get out of this without any damage.
One ball, two strikes to the left-handed hitting Goldbeck, and that one off the outside edge. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on, second inning. Two's wild. The pitch to the two-hole hitter, lined into left center field. That's going to be a long run, and that is going to be down in the gap. Hill runs it down, one run scores, two runs will score, and a two-run double for Garrett Goldbeck. Damage done. Four-nothing Blue Devils. So Santiago scores from second. Kern hustles around from first. Goldbeck's had a heck of a day today. He's on base four times in game one. He's two for two to start game two. Throw back to second, not in time. Strower's pitch, outside ball one. That one just missed as well, 2-0. That one skied the center. Hill moving to his left. He's got a play on it. He makes the catch. And the side is retired. But a two-run double for Garrett Goldbeck. 4-0 KCK. They have the lead. Ravens will look to chip away when we come back on the Red Ravens Sports Network. Ravens coming up to bat, bottom second with a 4-0 deficit to work with. It'll be George Andrews leading off against Donovan Johnson. First pitch, high and away, ball one. That one's a strike. The 1-1 one, one pitch here on deck is Dominguez. That one high and away as well, 2-1 and one from Johnson. That one inside and it got Andrews. Leadoff runner on for the Ravens on a hit by pitch. And so here comes Adrian Dominguez. To 
Dominguez had a hit in game one. First pitch outside corner, strike one. Check over at first on Andrews, but still 0-1 here to, Mar uh, to Dominguez. And that one hit to the left center field. Gap, it's down and over the head of the center fielder. Andrews giving the wave. RBI double for Dominguez. Ravens on the board, their first run at Walter Johnson Park in almost a year. And they're on the board, it's 2-1. to one. Or four to one, excuse me. That brings up Christian Amen. Runner on second, still nobody out. Ravens on the board now, four to one. There's a strike to Amon. Andrews hit by a pitch to start the inning. RBI double for Adrian Dominguez. Runner on second as Dominguez gets his lead. Johnson gets his sign, the pitch to Amon. Just missed. Looks like he went with that sinker away and tailed a little bit too far outside. One two pitch. Slider, nice eye there by aiming to lay off of it. Ravens trying to gain some momentum here. And Amon ground ball. Gonna be a tough play. Third baseman charging, and he's not gonna have a play. Infield hit for Christian Amon. Dominguez over to third. And three straight Ravens have reached here in the second. Harrison Smith. Will bat here with runners on the corners, nobody out. Outside, ball one. Hit by pitch, double infield single. That's how the second inning started for the Ravens, but still work to do. They're down four to one. Runners on first and third, nobody out. 1-0 pitch, outside. 2-0 to Smith. Harrison hitting 333 on the season so far. Throw over to first. Back in time is Eamon. Strike one there to Harrison Smith. Four one Blue Devils our score. This is the best offensive inning of the day already for the Ravens and diving back safely is Amon. Two balls, one strike. And the pitch from Johnson is outside. Keeps trying to find that outside corner and has not been able to find it in this at bat. Three balls and a strike. Yeah. 
And outside, ball four. Four straight Ravens have reached, and the go-ahead run is coming to the plate. It's Tate Moody. Moody hitting 263 this season. Pair of home runs, 11 runs knocked in. Moody had a stretch last season where he was very clutch hitter. Had some big time swings and big time games. We'll see what Tate's able to do here. I'm going back and forth myself, and we're playing a game up here in the booth of what is Tate doing this at bat. I can see, okay, so here's the thing. Here's, I got two options for you. Base hit oppo, station to station, RBI, or a gap shot left center field ties the game. Base hit oppo. He did that a lot last year, so there you go. You think he pulls it? All right, we'll see what Tate's able to do. I'm sure Coach Martin and the Ravens would take any of those outcomes. <laughs> I'm thinking off of the off of the strike sign on the scoreboard. <laughs> oh one, or first pitch here to Moody, and a half swing there, strike one. That's what that's what Trevor Bauer refers to as a sword. Oh, one pitch here from Johnson. Up and in, nearly got him. One and one. Bacon stands on deck. One, one pitch. Moody with a great eye laying off that slider. That's a pretty good pitch. Two and one to Tate. Ravens with an opportunity to do some major damage. Moody fouls it off. He's thinking right field, guys. He's thinking right field. Tate's a patient guy. He's not, he's not scared to push it the other way. 2-2 Two -two here to Moody. Bases loaded, nobody out for the Ravens. And he lays off of it, full count. Three, two, full count pitch, big pitch here to Tate Moody. And he rips it to center. This should be playable, but it will be a sacrifice fly. Two runners tag, play at third, not in time. It hits the runner. And runners on the corners, one out, another run scores. It's 4-2 on a sack fly from Tate Moody. That plates Dominguez, aiming up to third. And now Eric Bacon steps into the box. And now we're we're in a very unique situation here where the you know the saying throughout the course of time has been bring home the bacon. But now Bacon has an opportunity to bring home everybody else. First pitch, Bacon shows bunt, pulls back. Amon's on third. Smith is on first. Shrack is on deck. Bacon gets the bunt down. Runner breaking for the plate. Flip to first and a nonchalant flip. That was almost, he almost beat that out. So sacrifice bunt scores Dominguez and moves Smith up to second. So back-to-back at-bats with RBIs for Moody and Bacon. Ravens have answered with three runs so far in the bottom of the second. And Carson Schrack now has an opportunity to tie the game. Runner on second, two outs. First pitch to Schrack, down low, ball one. Yeah. 
And that one on the outside corner, one and one. One ball, one strike to the Raven star hitter Carson Schrack, and they check on Harrison Smith out there at second base. Tying run is at second base, 4-3 our score, and looks like they're going to call Balk on that and move Harrison up to third. So tying run now just 90 feet away. There's a lot of space in that right center field gap. They're shading, the center fielder shading Carson Track to go opposite field. Lays off that one. Two and one, tying run at third, two outs. Ravens have played a three here in this second inning. There's a big cut. Came up empty on a fastball up and away, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. 4-3 game, bottom two. Pitch from Johnson. Ground ball foul. Track out of Edgerton. That's a Gardner Edgerton High School. Will be continuing his career at the University of Arkansas. Two balls, two strikes. He has a chance to tie the game right here. And off the outside corner, full count. That's a Division One eye right there from Carson Schrack. Full count. Down low, ball four. Schrack works a walk. Second walk drawn of the inning by the Ravens. And now we see Jaden Hill. Hill grounded out to second on the first pitch he saw back in the first inning. Scorched a double down the right field line in game one. He fouls that one off down the left field line. Oh, one pitch to Hill. Strike two. That one up and away, ball one. One two pitch to Jaden Hill. And in down and in. That one got him. Mike Elrod. Been a very tough inning for Johnson as the only two outs he's gotten have both been sacrifices that have played at a run. Bases loaded now for Cruz. Tying run is at third. Go ahead run is at second. And Johnson gets to work back in the windup and ball one outside. Ravens have now officially batted around here in the second. That one fouled off. Big swing by Cruz. He was trying to make it 
7-4 with that one. One one pitch. And a hanger cruise base hit up the middle. Scoring to tie the game is Amon. Right behind him to give the Ravens the lead is Shrack. A two run single for Nathan Cruz. Coffeeville has put up a five spot in the second inning, and they have rallied to take the lead. George Andrews, who started the inning getting hit by a pitch. He's up now with runners on the corners. Ravens now leading by a run. Runners on the corners, throw over to first. Got away, Hill breaks for the plate, he will score. And it's 6-4, throw down to second, is in time. Inning is over, the run does count. Ravens put up six here in the bottom of the second. Big swings from Dominguez and Cruz. Ravens by two, let's go to the third here on the Red Raven Sports Network. Right. Third inning here at Walter Johnson Park. Ravens lead it six to four after a big six run second inning and back on the mound is Noah Stroer. He will face Jace Woita who's been the nagging pain in the Ravens today. He walked his first time up. He takes ball one here. Well, he does had a three or four, three or four walks today. At this point, he's also hit a grand slam. But there's a strike. One and one. And just missed the outside corner with that one. Two balls, one strike. That one outside. Three and one on Woita. Three one pitch. And that one missed. So leadoff walk here in the third, and Woita is on base for the fifth time today. That'll bring up Brady Patterson, who also drew a walk his first time up. Excuse me, Patterson had an RBI single his first time up. One ball, one strike. That one's in there. Oh, 
Moita off of first, Strower to the plate. And that one missed low. Two balls, one strike. Patterson will be followed by Dirks and Santiago. That one up high, three and one. And back-to-back -back walks issued here to start the third. So it's now six walks issued today by Strower. And a conversation between him and Carson Schrack. Dirks comes up. Dirks struck out his first time up. That ended the first inning. Two on, nobody out here. Top three. Ravens lead it six to four. Dirks shows bunt, gets it down. It's a good one. And the throw gets away, skips over. And that'll allow the runners to move up. One run scores. Dirks up to second. Going to third is Patterson. And it's 6 5. So second and third. Still nobody out. Ravens beginning to have some stirring out there in that bullpen out in left field. So here's Santiago, Freddie Santiago gets the at bat here with the tying run at third, go ahead run at second. Fouls off the first pitch. O one one here from Stroer. And a foul tip. Strike two. That one missed low. One and two. Not a bad 0-2 pitch there, though, from... Noah Stroer. One, two pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him with the off speed. Santiago retired on strikes. A much needed first out here in the third. Brings up Tanner Pachonik. Takes ball one. And they show bunt and he fouled it off. One ball, one strike. Runners on second and third, one out. Good pitch there. Strower looks to find his groove here against seven, eight, nine in the order. Struck out Santiago and struck out Pachoric his first time up. Ahead one and two here. That one skied to left, retreating on it and making the catch. But that will tie the game. Eamon made the grab. 
Sacrifice fly for Pachoric. It ties the game at six. And the Blue Devils have scored two runs in each of the first three innings of this one. That brings up Brady Kern. Go ahead, run at third, two outs. First pitch to Kern, breaking ball, strike one. Dirks is the runner at third. That change up low and away. Count is even. KCK has been consistent with their scoring in this game too. Two runs in the first, second, and third. Ravens a little more sporadic. They scored six in the second. There's a strike, one and two. Strower one pitch away from getting out of it. And keeping this game knotted up. The one, two. Fly to left. Backing up on it is Amon, and he's got it. And that's how the inning ends. Two runs for the Blue Devils. We're knotted at six in a high scoring game. We're back for the bottom of the third on the Red Raven Sports Network. George Andrews leads off of the Ravens, bottom of the third inning. We are knotted at six here from Walter Johnson Park. I'm Shane Neal. It's the Red Ravens Sports Network. That's a strike on the outside corner from Donovan Johnson. Ravens pieced together some quality at-bats in that second inning, leading to a six spot. One and one here on Andrews. Andrews is hit by a pitch to lead off that second inning. That breaking ball was sharp, and it catches the back back door there, one and two. One and two here on Andrews. Andrews gets the pitch and laid off, two and two. Looks like he went with a slider down and in. Andrews able to keep the wrist in check. Two balls, two strikes, that one down low, full count. Dominguez on deck, he had an RBI double his first time up. Full count pitch here to Andrews. Tie game at six, Ravens trying to get the leadoff man on. And that one outside, ball four. Andrews on base for the second straight at bat. Here's Adrian Dominguez. Dominguez hit his first double of the season his last time up. He bunts there and fouls it off. Yeah. 
Amen on deck. A one to Dominguez, strike two. Outside with that one, one ball, two strikes. One two pitch with Andrews getting his lead off of first. And outside again, two and two. Johnson was ahead of Andrews, one and two, and lost him. He's ahead of Dominguez as well. And that one grounded to second. KCK should have a play, and it will be a fielder's choice as the throw couldn't be handled. So one down. That retires Andrews, and it brings up Christian Amon. So Dominguez on first now. Dominguez has two stolen bases this year. So something to keep in mind. And here's the pitch to Amon. Ball one. Amen going up against his former team today. Spent last season as a part of KCK. That one grounded foul. One ball, one strike, one out, runner on first, and that one inside, it got him. Amen hit by the pitch, Dominguez down to second, two on, one out, and here comes Harrison Smith. And we'll have a mound visit here from KCK. And we'll uh, see what they uh, do here if they're taking the starter out of the game. And they are. So we're going to the bullpen. We'll be right back here on the Red Raven Sports Network. Ravens threatening in a tie game.
New pitcher here for KCK. It's number 21, Will Bartkoski. Sidearm right-hander. He will face Harrison Smith. Runners on first and second, one out, bottom third. Smith shows bunt, pulls back, ball one. Johnson ends up going two and a third. Wow, six runs. Three walks. And Smith that time went around. Strike one and one. Moody on deck, and Smith has some good speed, so. Coach Martin trying to put the pressure on the Blue Devil defense, force him to make a play. And that's a great bunt by Harrison Smith. They will get the out at first, but perfectly executed. It moves Dominguez up to third, Amen up to second, and now Tate Moody gets a chance to add to his one RBI total today. Moody, a sophomore out of Overland Park. Began his career at Wichita State. Takes a strike on the outside corner. Moody had a sacrifice fly to center. It's more like a sacrifice line drive to center field his first time up. 0-1 pitch. She's a 1-0 pitch. And check swing foul. Go ahead, run at third base. Runners on second and third here for the Ravens. We're tied at six. Tate Moody has 12 RBIs this season. Little number to second base. And KCK able to get out of the inning without further damage. We go to the fourth. Both teams knotted at six here at Walter Johnson Park on the Red Raven Sports Network. Fourth inning here at Walter Johnson Park. Ravens and Blue Devils tied at six in the finale of this week's series. Teams split a pair of games on Thursday. Teams split a pair of games on Thursday, and KCK won game one here today, 10 to nothing. So Ravens trying to win and salvage a series sweep. Split, excuse me, series split. Ground ball, first pitch, and it gets by the third baseman, Shrack. Lead-off single for Basler. First hit of the day for Peyton Basler. He is a redshirt sophomore at a Lansing switch hitter. Can play a little bit of second base shortstop, even a little bit of third if he has to. And now bunt showed by... Goldbeck, and he fouls it off. Goldbeck. 
Cole Beck, two for two today, a single and a double. Step off there from Stroer. And the 0-1 just missed. One ball, one strike here on Goldbeck. One ball, one strike. Runner on first, nobody out here in the fourth. That one line, Goldbeck is three for three today. And runner will go first to third, that is Bassler. And very quickly, KCK has runners on the corners with nobody out here in the third, or in the fourth. Goldbeck now three for three today. That batting average will be going up, which is hard to believe because he came into today hitting 453. Feels like people around baseball say if you're hitting about 300, you're a very solid hitter. If you're hitting 400, you enter Tony Gwynn, Ted Williams territory. If you're hitting almost 500, I, I don't know what you are. That's pretty unprecedented. 1-0 <laughs> here, and that one fouled off by Mervash. There's a second baseman. I forget his name off the top of my head. He's playing at a Jackson State, I believe, in Division One. I. I think he's hitting like 649 this year. He has something crazy, like 32 hits and like 57 at-bats. Step off. They have the runner. In a rundown, and the tag, not in time. Dominguez, sure he had him. Now we'll see a conversation here. So as it stands right now, runners on second and third. There we go, the end of our friendly banter. Second and third, nobody out. Tie game at six, KCK threatening to take the lead. The 1-1 one, one pitch to Mervash is low and outside, ball two. Two one, and a ground ball to third, backing up on it is Shrack. Long throw across the diamond, nice play, and he keeps the runners from advancing. So big out there for the Ravens, and a nice textbook play at third base by Carson Track, where he really didn't play a lot of third last year, primarily played second, so still kind of getting his feet under him in a new position this year, and uh, looked good on that one. And that one a strike on the inside edge to Woida. Woida's drawn a pair of walks today. He's reached base in five of his six at-bats, or five of his six plate appearances this afternoon. And that's a ground ball. It'll give KCK the lead. It's a ground out for Woida, but even when he's retired, he's being productive today. 7-6 Blue Devils. So back-to-back -back outs for the Raven defense and a chance to limit the damage after having second and third, nobody out. 
Chance to hold them to just one run and we will go to the bullpen it seems. Two outs, top four. KCK leads at 7-6. New arm coming in for the Ravens. We'll be right back on the Red Raven Sports Network. the Red Ravens here in the fourth inning with the Ravens trailing seven to six and it's the right-hander Jacob Shinskowski taking the ball here for Jake Martin and he will face Brady Patterson on the season 8-1-0 ERA and six and two-thirds innings pitch breaking ball high there ball one KCK scored in all four innings so far today. But that six run second for the Ravens really helping them hang with a very talented baseball team here today. 2-0 and now on Patterson. Patterson has reached in both of his at-bats via walk. There's a breaking, breaking ball that catches the zone, strike one. For those interested in the Region 6 championship game today in basketball, the Butler Grizzlies on top of the Hutch Blue Dragons in the Women's Championship, 38-36. That game about to go to the fourth quarter. 3-1 to Patterson. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Not sure if that was a changeup or a slider, but whatever it was, it was pretty gross. So Chanskowski with a chance to get out of this inning. Full count pitch to Patterson. Here's the pitch. And a ground ball. Foul. And we'll do it again. Runner at third is Goldbeck. He's three for three today. KCK began this inning with runners on second and third and nobody out. Ravens with a chance to only allow one run. It's a nice arm. Full count pitch. 
And the pitch from Chanskowski and fouled off. Woo! Heads up down there in the hole. Just finished redesigning the home dugout, and a ball goes screaming in there in game two. Man. Always got to stay on your toes when you're leaning up against the dugout. Full count pitch, and just missed, and Patterson draws his third walk of the day. So now Dirks comes up. Dirks struck out his first at bat, had a single, a bunt single, and reached second on an error in his last at bat. First pitch swinging, ground ball to Andrews, and the side is retired. We go bottom of the fourth, KCK back in front. They have a 7-6 lead. We'll see if the Ravens have another response when we return from Walter Johnson Park on the Red Ravens Sports Network. Bottom of the fourth here from Walter Johnson Park, and it's 7-6 KCK. Ravens get it started with Eric Bacon at the plate. Bacon had a sacrifice bunt in RBI his first time up. Takes ball one here. 1-0 pitch, nice pitch there on the outside half, strike one. One and one here from the right-hander outside, two balls, one strike. Two and one. And a three and one to Bacon, Bacon. Looking to reach as the tying run with Shrack and Hill coming up next. And the 3-1, fouled off. Healthy cut there from Bacon, the freshman out of Emory, Texas. And now a timeout. Full count pitch here to the Raven nine hole hitter. And fought it off. Good plate battle here for the freshman. We'll do it again, full count pitch, fought off foul.
So we will have a an eighth pitch of the at-bat. And it's lined to center, but right at the center fielder, catch is made, one down. Baseball is a cruel sport. Eight pitch at bat, barrel the ball, and all that shows up is 0 for 1. Top of the order, Carson Schrack. He's 0 for 1, drew a walk, scored a run his last time up, grounded out to shortstop. Back in the first inning, ball one outside. KZK, two runs in the first, two in the second, two in the third, one in the fourth. Ravens, six runs in the second. Strike one, one and one to Schrack. One, one pitch and fought off by Carson. Ravens have a right-hander warming up in the bullpen. KCK also with a righty getting loose. That one upstairs, two and two. Swing and a miss. Breaking ball strikes out Shrack, and there's two down here in the bottom of the fourth. So Jaden Hill will come up. Nobody on, two outs. KCK looking for a 1-2-3 inning, which they haven't had since the first inning. First pitch foul. That one on the outside edge, 0 and 2. Impressive inning here for Barkowski as he tries to go 1, 2, 3. He entered, of course, in the third inning. That breaking ball stays just a hair outside, 1 and 2. Ravens down a run. Hill fights that one off. Still one ball, two strikes to Hill. Center fielder for Goffeyville. And he skies that one. Looks like it'll stay playable. It's caught in foul ground, and the side is retired. Ravens go down in order. We're off to the fifth inning. KCK 7, Coffeyville 6 here on the Red Ravens Sports Network.
Top five here at Walter Johnson Park with the Ravens trailing 7-6 to the Blue Devils of KCK. Back on the mound here for the fifth is Jacob Shankowski, and he starts it off with ball one to Santiago. One zero, -oh. outside again. Two and zero. Oh. And there finds the outside edge. Two balls, one strike. Santiago drew a walk, scored a run his first time up. And in his last time up, struck out. That one lined to right field. That's going to get over the head, and it is gone. Solo shot by Santiago. Makes it 8-6. to six. And for Santiago, that is his fourth home run of the year. So he's shown he's got some pop. Second home run hit today by the Blue Devils. Strike one to Pachorek. A one ground ball to shortstop. Moving to his right is Cruz. Long throw across the diamond is handled by Andrews. One down. Nice bounce back there to get the ground ball to shortstop. One down. Here comes Kern. First pitch inside and got him. Kern is plunked. And we'll go back to the top of the order with Bassler. Shanskowski looks to the sign, gets the call, gets the signal, and finds the outside corner, strike one. Bassler hit by a pitch in the first, lined out to right in the second, and singled in his last at bat in the fourth. One and one as that one down and in. Throw over to first, not in time. So back to work against Bassler here, runner on first and one out here in the fifth. That one down and in as well. Two balls, one strike. Region 6 championship game coming down to the wire in Hutchinson. The Blue Dragons lead that one 46-44 with 3.27 to go. Back here we have an 8-6 game in the top of the fifth. 2-1 pitch. Outside corner, nicely located there. Evens up the count. Throw over to first is not in time. Ravens turned a 4-6-3 double play back in the first inning. I'm sure they'd love to draw one up here as well. Right, he's still getting loose in the Raven bullpen. Actually, a couple pitchers stirring down there now. And that one caught by Andrews, and that will be a double play. Unassisted. Great play by Andrews. Ravens limit the damage, but a solo home run by Santiago. Makes it 8-6 KCK here on the Red Raven Sports Network.
Ravens come to bat, bottom half of the fifth, trailing eight to six. First pitch is fouled off by Nathan Cruz. Cruz had a two-run single back in the second. Ravens have gone relatively quiet since that second inning. Only two runners have reached base in the last two frames. That one got him, though, and Cruz is on base for the second time today. So here comes George Andrews after making a great play in the field. See if he can make an impact with the bat. He's been on base twice today. First pitch to Andrews. Runner on first. Nobody out. Inside, ball one. Andrews hit by a pitch in the second. Was walked in the third. One zero pitch, swing and a miss. Took something off on that one, and Andrews out in front of it. Wind blowing out to right field, and I'm sure that's where Andrews is thinking about swinging and putting it. Two and one. Ravens trail 8-6. Looking to have another productive inning. That one up and in. 3-1. and one. And that one down low. Andrews on base for the third time today. Ravens have two on, nobody out. Tying run on, and here comes the go-ahead run to the plate in Dominguez. Dominguez one for two today. He had an RBI double back in the second, and he had a fielder's choice in the third, but he will face a new arm. Ravens down 8-6, threatening here in the fifth. We're right back on the Red Ravens Sports Network.
New arm for the Blue Devils, number 33, Nate Ugalia-Loro gets the ball here for KCK, and he'll face Adrian Dominguez. Right, two on for the Ravens, nobody out. Dominguez shows bunt, fouls it off. Eight six KCK bottom five two on nobody out. And that one off the outside corner. One ball, one strike. That one missed as well, two and one. Up and away, three and one. Aiming on deck. Strike two. Full count now to Dominguez. Full count pitch, swing and a miss. Strikeout for the first out here of the fifth. So Amon steps to the plate. Amon hit by a pitch his last time up. Also had an infield single. Takes that one low, ball one. Runners thought about going, but now retreat. It is Cruz on second, Andrews on first. One out. Ravens down a pair. KCK scored in all five innings so far. 2-0 to Amon. Spin, throw to second, and nice pick there by second baseman Bassler. That was very close to getting into center field. Two and zero on Amon. Upstairs, three and zero. Rio hitters count, and there finds the zone with a strike. Three and one, Amon swings, flies it to center, playable. And the catch will be made by Kern for out number two. Two outs now, runners on first and second here for the Ravens, trailing eight to six, and they'll rely on Harrison Smith to come up with a big knock. First pitch, outside. The 1-0. Down and in, runner goes, play at third is in time. 
And the inning is over. No damage done. Ravens threaten but cannot score. We're off to the sixth. 8-6 KCK. Sixth inning here at Walter Johnson Park. New pitcher for the Ravens. It's the left-hander Bryson Martin getting the ball. He's the Cali transfer, sophomore left-handed pitcher. And he will begin against Garrett Goldbeck. Part of the order coming up, Goldbeck, Mervash, and Woida. Outside corner, strike one. Martin out of Callister, Oklahoma. The 0 1 pitch. Breaking ball upstairs, 1 and 1. Breaking ball missed outside that time, 2 and 1. Swing and a miss, elevated heater from Martin and Gehrig Goldbeck swings right through it, two and two. Swing and a miss. Martin strikes out Goldbeck. First time Goldbeck's been retired today, one down here in the sixth. That'll bring up the third baseman, Jackson Mervash. First pitch a little low, ball one. One oh pitch from Martin, fouled off. Two, uh, the 1-1 one, one pitch, excuse me, and that one fouled off, one and two. One and two here from Martin. 
Facing Mervash and the pitch. And just missed with that one. Martin's coming out looking strong here in the sixth inning. Struck out Goldbeck. And just missed with that one to Mervash. Full count pitch from the Cali transfer, Bryson Martin. Strike three, got the outside edge, back-to-back -back Ks. And two down here in the sixth. Bring up the KCK first baseman. Two outs, nobody on. Strike one. That one lined up the middle and a two out single for Woida. First base runner allowed by Martin. Two out knock. And he'll go to work against Brady Patterson, who's drawn three walks today. Pardon me, two walks and a single. First pitch swinging, fly ball center field. Hill gives it a chase and runs it down to retire the side. Scoreless inning for Bryson Martin. Ravens down 8-6 and back to the plate when we come back on the Red Ravens Sports Network. Ravens step into the box, bottom half of the sixth, and it will be Harrison Smith to lead it off. Seven, eight, nine, new up for the Ravens. Smith, Moody, and Bacon. Strike one, the call. Right-hander, Ugliolaro back at the, out there for KCK. That one down and in, ball one. One one pitch up and away, two and one.
Ground ball to second, throw on the first in time, one down. Smith is retired. That'll bring up Tate Moody. That one a strike. Quickly 0 and 2 here on Moody. O2 pitch. And laying off that one is Moody. One, two pitch. Moody grounds it to shortstop from deep short. Gold Beck on to first in time, two down. So Bacon steps in, two outs, nobody on. Takes ball one. One oh pitch to Bacon. My goodness. Popped up, foul territory. Third baseman gives it a look, it'll get out of play. Here in the third, and that one high and outside. Bacon fouls that one off and giving it another look, getting it out of play. Two and two. The full count here to the right fielder. That one line to left, coming in, making the catch, and a one, two, three inning for the Blue Devils. Ravens with their fourth straight scoreless frame. They still trail eight, six as we go to the seventh here on the Red Ravens Sports Network.
Bryson Martin back on the hill for the Ravens as we go to the seventh inning. It'll be Marcus Dirks to lead us off. And first pitch just off the plate inside, 1-0. and Martin was able to put up the first scoreless frame for Raven pitching in the second game of the doubleheader. Ravens still trail eight to six in the bottom of or in the top of the seventh. Ravens will have a dangerous part of their lineup coming up in the home seventh, two and zero. Oh. It will be Shrack, Hill, and Cruz. Two zero pitch. There's a strike. That one on the outside corner as well. Nicely located by Martin. Two and two. The pitch. And just missed. Count runs full. Martin did not walk anybody in his first inning of work. Gave up a single to Woida. Struck out a pair. Full count pitch, the payoff. And grounded off of the glove of Martin, and that's going to make it an infield single for Dirks. Would have been a tough play regardless. Second hit surrender by Martin, and a leadoff man on for KCK. So that'll bring up... Santiago, who homered his last time up, his fourth of the year, takes a strike. Outside with that one, one and one. Santiago one for two today. He's drawn a walk. He's struck out, and he's homered to right. Two and one here. That one low. So hitters count here for Santiago. And that one off the glove of Morton as well. Into center field, runner given the wave. He will score, RBI single for Santiago. And it's 9-6 as Dirk scores from second. Nine six, Blue Devils lead, and Martin looking to find that groove he had in the sixth. Throws over to first to check on Santiago as Pachorek scored, showed bunt there on that first pitch. Strike one. Martin continues to work. That one bunted foul. Ravens look to stay within striking distance. Have not scored since the second inning. Trail nine to six in this one. Martin. Fouled off by Pachorek. No 
Two balls, two strikes. Pachoric will battle again. Ball one. Martin's one, two. And a ground ball foul. Congratulations to the Hutchinson Lady Dragons. They are Region 6 champions and on their way to the national tournament where they will be the number one overall seed as they remain undefeated now, 32-0 and on the season. Make the 33-0 and after today. That one fouled off as well. A tough battle here for Pechorek. Runner moves up to second there. And conversation here with our umpire. We try to sort this one out. Now runner on second, nobody out, and Martin will continue his battle with Pachorik. Kern is on deck. And steps off. One, two pitch. Ground ball. This will be a tough play. Third baseman track charges. Throw to first is not in time and offline. Runner will score. Pachoric up to second. And that's the second run of the inning to cross. Santiago comes around to score. And it's now 10-6. Blue Devils. KCK team hunting for their 18th win of the season. Also hunting for a series win. Martin's pitch. Shows bunt, pulls back. That pitch got away. And up to third goes Pachorik. Now one and one here from Martin. And that one catches the outside corner, one and two. Ground ball and diving snag by the shortstop Cruz and throws from his knees in time. Heck of a play. First out of the seventh inning. So back to the top of the order. Here's Bassler. First pitch swing and a miss. Ravens have some stirring in the bullpen. Nobody 
actively throwing. That one blocked by Smith, one and one. Similar story with the KCK bullpen where there's actually a pitcher and catcher throwing some punches down there at each other. That's fun. 1-1 one, one pitch and down and low and in. When you play 16 innings, you got to find a way to entertain yourself somehow. Two one pitch, the seventh. It's an RBI single for Bassler, and it's 11 to six. Goldbeck returns to the plate. Goldbeck struck out against Martin his first time up. Throw over to first, back in time. Martin to the plate, fouled off. Four hits in this inning so far for the Blue Devils. One and one here on Goldbeck. Lined and foul. One two pitch, down low, two and two. Sky to right. Coming in is Bacon and he will make the catch. So Bryson Martin is two for two against Gary Goldbeck. And there's two down here in the seventh. Outside, runner goes, throw is to the shortstop side of the bag, and the runner is safe for the stolen base. This is Mervash. 1-0, squirts through, runner will go, and he will move up to third. Three runs home in this seventh inning for the Blue Devils. They lead it 11 to six. Ravens trying to stop the bleeding and keep them within striking distance. Ravens put up six in the second inning.
Three and zero oh here on Mervash. There's a strike. That one low, Mervash draws a walk. Been a frustrating day for Mervash. He was 0 for 4 heading into that at bat. Runners on the corners, two outs. That one skips away. Run will score as the ball skips out of play. So a four-run inning here for the Blue Devils. Still more, de uh, still more threat here with a runner on second. That one a strike. One and two now on Loita. The pitch up and in. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner on second. And that one down and away. Count runs full to Woita. That one. Don't know if that hit him or it was ball four. Either way, he's going to reach. I believe it hit him. Oh, they're going to call it a foul ball off the bat. Full count pitch. And that one missed. So back-to-back -back walks to Mervash and Wawita. And the Ravens will make a visit to the mound. And bring on a new pitcher. Top seven. Four runs home for the Blue Devils. Ravens trying to stop the bleeding. We'll be right back on the Red Raven Sports Network.
Crossed out the new pitcher for the Ravens. Two outs in the top of the seventh. And that breaking ball inside. Brady Patterson, the new hitter. Doubt on the season. A 1 3 5 ERA. And that one line to left, and the inning is over. So Dowd does the job. But four runs for KCK. They have a 12 6 lead. Stretch time here at Walter Johnson Park. We'll be right back on the Red Raven Sports Network. Two and zero on Carson Track as we return here to Walter Johnson Park. Ravens trail twelve to six. Bottom of the seventh. Track hits that one hard to center. Going back on it, making the catch. Is Kern one down? Jaden Hill steps into the box, one down. And the pitch, breaking ball a little high, ball one. And one and one there, is that one on the inside corner? Outside. Hill grounded out to second, was hit by a pitch, and popped up to the third baseman. That one skied out of play. Balls and two strikes to Hill. The pitch, ground ball, shortstop charges. Clean scoop, clean throw in time. 
Two up, two down here in the seventh. Nathan Cruz walks up. He's got a two-run single today. Ball one. Cruz grounded to third in the first. Two-run single in the second. He's hit by a pitch back in the fifth. That one just off the outside corner, 2-0. Swing and a miss there. Healthy hack from Cruz. Two one grounded foul. Two two pitch. Lined and caught by the third baseman. And one two three go the Ravens here in the seventh. We're off to the eighth. 12-6, KCK on top in this one. Ravens will need a rally. We're back in just a moment on the Red Ravens Sports Network. Eighth inning here at Walter Johnson Park. 12-6, KCK leads this one. Cross down back on the mound for the Red Ravens. And his first pitch outside. This is Marcus Dirks to lead it off. It'll be Dirks, Santiago, and Pachorek. 2-0. Two and zero here from Dowd, and upstairs. There's a strike. Three and one. And the pitch. Fouled off. So the count runs full. Three. 
Full count pitch, ground ball to short. Cruz sets the feet, fires to first, and in time. So Dirks is retired for the first out of the eighth inning. I'll bring up Santiago, who's got two hits and a walk. He homered and singled. First pitch swing in here, flied to right center. That one caught. And two quick outs here for Dowd. Ravens look for their second scoreless inning of the day, their first 1-2-3 inning. KCK team, one of the best offensive teams in the nation so far to this point this season. Ball one to Pachorik. Two and oh. Pachorik struck out in the second, sack fly in the third. Grounded out to short in the fifth and singled and scored in the seventh. Two and one. Another breaking ball, another strike, two and two. Crossed out looking to punch the Blue Devils down in order. And skied. See if this stays in play, it will not. Two two will do it again. Dowd gets the sign, pitches, fires, breaking ball. Where did that miss? Full count. Payoff pitch. And he got him. Swing and a miss. Dowd puts the Blue Devils down in order. One, two, three. Bottom eight, we go. Ravens down 12-6. Coming to the plate on the Red Ravens Sports Network.
Caleb Reed on the mound for the Blue Devils. Reed has had a fantastic season so far. Five games, has not allowed a run, has a save, seven innings pitched, only two hits allowed, four walks, 12 strikeouts. He'll go to work against George Andrews. First pitch from Reed. Swing, grounded foul. Only six runners have reached base on Reed this year in seven innings. This guy does not mess around. He gets ahead in the count. And more times than not, he'll finish it off. 0-1. Outside, well one. That one a little low, two and one. Change up there from Reed. And the two one pitch. Upstairs. Three and one. So Andrews in a hitter's count against KCK's top reliever. And down low. Lead off walk. Fifth walk issued this year by Reed. That'll bring up Hill. Or excuse me, that'll bring up Dominguez. The leadoff man is on for the Ravens. First pitch to Dominguez. Missed inside. 86 on the gun on that one. One zero pitch. Reed misses again. Two and zero. And a mountain visit here as Reed has just thrown one strike so far. Seven pitches. Now behind 2-0 and on Dominguez. Aiming on deck. He'll be followed by Smith Moody. Ravens down six runs, trying to start their late game rally. 2-0, strike on the outside edge. Two and one now from Reed. Swing and a miss. Nice change up there. And he's battled back to make it two and two. Two balls, two strikes to Dominguez and challenged him, popped up. Third baseman gives it a look. He will have room, he will make the catch. One down, Dominguez retired, and that'll bring up Christian Amen. Amen today, singled in the second, hit by pitch in a third, and flied out to center in the fifth. Takes ball one. One zero pitch to Amen. Outside two and zero. That one upstairs three and zero on Amen. Struggles throwing strikes here so far for Caleb Reed. Walked the leadoff batter. Did retire Dominguez on a full count pitch, but then a four pitch walk to Amon. Second free pass issued here in the bottom of the eighth. 
And Harrison Smith comes up. First pitch to Smith, down low. Now a visit. Reed has thrown just four strikes. Compared to 11 pitches out of the zone. And so the mound visit is done, and Reed will try to find his, his premier stuff. It's really worked for him all year long. One and out to Smith. Upstairs, two and out. Two balls, no strikes. And there, that one finds the inside part of the plate. Casey Case in their bullpen. That one, Smith flies it to center. Racing back and making the catch is Kern. Runner will tag. Both runners tag, play at second, and he's safe. So Andrew's up to third, Amon or Amon up to second. And now Tate Moody coming up. Tate Moody, sack fly back in his first at bat, grounded out to second, grounded out to short. Ball one. Caleb Reed in danger of allowing his first runs of the season. And a swing and a miss there by Moody. Swing and a miss, one and two. Ravens knocking on the door, two runners on, two outs. One, two to Tate Moody. Down low, slider laid off, two and two. Two-two pitch from Reed and swing and a miss. Elevated heat. Reed gets the strikeout. It wasn't pretty, but he puts up a zero. We go to the ninth. 12-6 KCK here on the Red Raven Sports Network.
To the ninth inning we go, and it will be Brady Kern to lead it off here for KCK. 12-6, Blue Devils lead. First pitch to Kern. Strike. Cross Dowd sat down. Patterson to end the seventh. Went one, two, three in the eighth with a strikeout. Now he's quickly ahead 0-2 here in the ninth. Just off the outside edge there, one and two. One, two pitch to Kern and fouled off. Very productive day for the Blue Devil offense, two runs in the first, two in the second, two in the third, one fourth and fifth, and four in the seventh. Two, two, or one, two again, and that one fought off. Kern today drew a walk and scored in the second, flying out to left in the third. Was hit by a pitch in the fifth and grounded out to short in the seventh. Breaking ball, didn't miss by much. Two-two. Ground ball, and it will squeak through for a base hit. So runner on first is Kern, and that brings the top of the order with Peyton Bassler. Bassler today has two hits. He's been on base three times. Shows bunt. Pulled back, ball one. Throw to first, back in time. One zero pitch, and a little high. Three and zero. Oh. There's a strike from Dowd. Grounded to short, they'll get one, and they will not be in time for two. Not sure what the ruling was there. Oh, they're going to... So Bassler back in the box. Runner on second now, and the 3 1 is high, ball four.
Ball one now to Goldbeck. We're having a break in the action here. So I want to know now on Goldbeck. Blunt back to the mound, the throw to first. In time. Runners advance to second and third. And here comes Mervash. One and zero now on Mervash. Swing and a miss. And they got him. Trying to steal home there was Kern. He is retired, and that's going to be out number two. That one fouled off. Andrews and Bacon give it a look. It's out of play. Ravens now one strike away from getting out of it, putting them back-to-back -back scoreless innings. The one-two pitch. Fly to right, Bacon on the run, will not get there. Run will score. It's going to be an RBI double. Former Vosh. And it's now 13 to 6. Visit on the mound here. And we will have a call to the bullpen. Dad's day is done. Ravens got one more out to get here in the top of the ninth. We'll be right back on the Red Raven Sports Network. Oh no. Four.
the ninth, and it is number 19, Dallas Good Pasture, coming in for Coffeyville. First pitch outside to Woita. Runner on second, two down here in the ninth inning. It is 13-6 as the Blue Devils have scratched a run across here in the ninth. Second pitch from Good Pasture is down low, 2-0. Just now joining us, the Hutchinson Lady Dragons are champions of Region 6 on the basketball court. They get the win over the Butler Grizzlies, and they will go to the national tournament undefeated this year. Barton Cougars not far behind them. They're 31-1, and they're up 17 at halftime on the Hutchinson men's team. Strike two there, to, or strike one, excuse me, to Woita, 2-1. Breaking ball, strike two. That's two and two. That one outside, count runs full. One popped up and giving it a look, but running out of room is Shrack. Full count again from Good Pasture and the pitch. Sock to right. Going back and over the head of Bacon. This will be extra bases, an RBI double for Woita. And the second RBI double of the inning. So good pasture face the lefty, could not get him out, and uh, we'll have another substitution. So we'll be right back here, top nine on the Red Raven Sports Network.
Ravens turn to a righty here with two outs in the ninth. Brady Patterson, the hitter for KCK. Runner on second after back-to-back -back RBI doubles by Mervash and Woita. The pitch. Breaking ball, a little high. Patterson drew a walk in each of his first three plate appearances, but since then is lined out to center and lined out to left. It's a good day at the plate. Fouls that one off. One two pitch. Grounded foul. Swing and a miss, that'll do it here in the ninth. Patterson have gone on strikes. We go bottom nine, Ravens down 14-6 here on the Red Ravens Sports Network. Bottom nine here at Walter Johnson Park. It will be the Ravens' last chance to hit here today. And Eric Bacon gets the party started. Nothing better than Bacon getting the party started. Now, for those that are, you know, of course, watching on the Red Raven Sports Network, what just happened is we had... A young, a young lady walk into the press box asking if we wanted to buy Girl Scout cookies. And you know what? I almost said yes. I almost pulled the trigger. I almost said, hang on. My wallet's right here. Let's do this live on the air. I went low. 2-0. and oh. Excuse me. 3-0. and oh. She'll be waiting for me outside my car as soon as the game's over. I promise you. She's going to sit perched in that parking lot. She knows where to camp out. Put on the puppy dog eyes, and all of a sudden, 20 boxes sold. Gone. 3-1. Ball four. Lead off walk for Eric Bacon. Carson Schrack will step to the plate. Shrek steps in. Shrek has yet to pick up a hit here in this one. He takes ball one. I think uh, 
It's one of the perks of being a Girl Scout, because when I walk into places where, you know, I, I, I'm, nobody's expecting me, people say, what are you doing here? Get out. 1-0 <laughs> pitch, back to our breaking ball, strike one. Power of having cookies. 1-1. One, one. Swing foul back. Track grounded out to short in the first. Drew a walk in the second. Struck out in the fourth. Flied to center in the seventh. Runner on first is Bacon. The 1-2 pitch. And skied it. Center fielder coming in, shortstop going out, and it's caught by the center fielder, Kern, one down. So Jaden Hill will come up, one out, runner on first. He'll ground it out to short in the seventh in his last at-bat. First pitch here, fouls it off. One out, bottom nine. Ravens would need one heck of a rally. They scored eight runs in an inning on Thursday. Strike two. 0-2. On Hill, Hill in center field for both games of this doubleheader. The 0-2 and flied to center. Shallow started going back, now coming in. It's actually the shortstop who makes the catch. That's Goldberg. And the Ravens are down to their final out. Nathan Cruz. Cruz grounded out to third, two-run single in the second, hit by pitch in the fifth, and lined out to third in the seventh. First pitch is a ball. A 1-0. Strike on the outside edge. Swing and a miss on the 1-1, and Ravens down to their final strike on this Saturday afternoon. The 1-2 pitch, line to short, over the head of the shortstop. It's a base hit for Cruz. Up to second is Bacon. Ravens still alive. Two out single will bring up George Andrews. Two on, two outs. Evans making looking to make a little noise here in the bottom of the ninth. Swinging and a miss. Out in front of a breaking ball. <laughs> 0 and 1 on Andrews. Andrews has drawn three walks today and was hit by a pitch. Quickly finds himself down 0 2. No balls, two strikes. Here's the pitch to Andrews. And he got him looking to end the game. Ravens fall in game two of the doubleheader. Final score, 14-6 to six as KCK sweeps the doubleheader here at Walter Johnson Park. Big thanks to Andrew Elrod. Big thanks to everybody for listening. This has been a presentation of Red Raven Baseball on the Red Raven Sports Network. I'm Shane Neal saying so long from Walter Johnson Park. We'll talk to you next time.